old business, and currently we have no old business. So we're going to go to number five, instructional and student services. Uh, our chairman, Mr. Hoster. Okay. Um, I'd like to bring forward a couple of our agenda items here. Uh, is it okay if we bring them together as a block? Could you, uh, could you do 5.01 separately so we can provide the update to everybody about our change in the calendar, please? Uh, we'll bring forward uh, item 5.01, the 2016-2017 Mill Creek Township School District calendar. Right. Yeah, but we need a motion in a second. Do you want to do that? That's a motion, right? Right off the get-go? Yeah. Okay. We'll take a motion. That's your motion? Yeah, we want to take a motion. I'll make a motion to accept the calendar. I need a second. Second. Okay, discussion. Um, we, after, uh, after we had brought the original calendar forward a couple weeks ago, we noticed there were some slight changes that had to be made. They weren't very dramatic, but I'm going to let Dr. Greenaway go ahead and just talk specifically what the changes were and just ask the board if you can follow along with your, um, with your copy there. Okay, the, there are two basic changes. One occurs in the November, October region, and the second occurs in the March region. The first change is shifting what was the um, teacher in service slash work day up to the 31st from the 8th, and then shifting the 22nd and 23rd days, which were current teacher conferences, and in-service days up to the 7th and 8th. Um, what that does is it provides an end of the quarter um, matched up with a teacher in-service slash work day. So that takes the end of the first quarter. The second change occurs in March and basically it's, it's shifting um, again the teacher work slash in-service day to align better to the end of the quarter which is now on the 24th, and then shifts the in-service, I'm sorry, the parent-teacher conferences and the other in-service down to the 31st. So if that does, that accomplishes the same thing that happened at the end of the first quarter, better aligns the teacher workday um, and in-service day at the close of the third quarter. Otherwise, it's exactly Yeah, as far as the big ticketed items, the, the beginning of the year is going to be the same. The, there's a slight change to uh, November, the Thanksgiving vacation between the two calendars, and that we were going to, we had to take two days from the um, when we first presented and move them elsewhere. So the uh, Thanksgiving vacation is not as extensive. Um, the uh, vacation in April, the week in April is, is preserved, and the end of the year is the same. There were just some days in between that we needed to better align with the teacher contract so that they had their uh, appropriate time to do their grades at the end of the first and third quarter. Okay. Is there any further discussion? Uh, call for a vote. Call for a vote. Uh, those, those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Aye. <coughs> Mr. Okay. Osbert, actually, <laughs> board president asked for the vote. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> a good job. <laughs> Okay, motion carries. And you can continue on time. I'm thinking we can do the rest of the block. Okay. Uh, we have 5.02, uh, new uh, course curriculum, uh, transition for success. Uh, it's a one credit course um, for grades 9 through 12. Um, also, we have a 9 through 10 high school course called Decision Making One. 5.03. Uh, item 5.04, uh, new curriculum in grades 11 through 12, high school, uh, decision making two. Uh, item 5.05, the McDowell softball uh, spring trip to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, beginning March 28th, uh, running through April 2nd, 2016. Item 5.06, a memorandum of understanding with uh, OBR, an agreement of roles and responsibilities for project search. Item 5.07, uh, SAP Mental Health Liaisons uh, Letter Agreement between the Northwest Tri-County IU Number 5 and Mill Creek Township School District for 2015 through 2016. Does somebody uh, make a motion to accept this block? Motion. Second. Second. 
Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any other opposition? Motion carries. Thank you, sir. Uh, we're going to go to uh, section six, our personnel and policy committee. This is I'm going to bring these two blocks. The first will be the policy. Um, so I would like approval of 6.01, approval of policy 115, career and technical education, first and final reading. Policy 6.02, approval of policies 210, Medications and 210.1, possession, possession, use of inhalers, epidrine, epipens, epidrine pen injectors, and first and, first and final reading. 6.03, approval of policy 806, child abuse, first and final reading. 6.04, approval of Westminster College affiliation agreement. 6.05, approval of the Union University athletic training agreement. Can I have a motion? Looking for a motion to approve 6.01 through 6.05. So moved. Second. Do we have a motion on a second? Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposition? Motion carries. And we have one more issue for the personnel. Uh, the Personnel and Policy Committee report for January um, 216. We do have uh, two additions, two changes since we met with Committee the Whole. Um, Dr. Dedish. Right. From time to time, um, items will be brought forward for action that occur after we have our committee meeting. And you'll see that we have a couple of items, and they're, they're going to be grayed out or highlighted for you. And that allows us to continue that service toward, to the students by not waiting until the, the following month when they're sent forward. So you'll see those highlighted on your agenda. I have a procedural question, if I may, Mr. Senate. If you go to the third page of that personnel report, um, under the recommendations is the substitute elementary principal that I'm also asking them to approve at 9.03. Um, if they approve the personnel report, does that, do we still need to do that at 9.03 or can we do them concurrently or how does that? If you approve this as part of the personnel report, we don't need to address it at 9.03 because he would be approved. Okay, and I would be fine with that if, they're, if the board wants to discuss that at all, because that is a separate item in 9.03. One, one would be the contract in, in, under your section. My part is just bringing his name forward. Okay, then let's leave it separate. 